based on the three-dimensional framework of economic, social and environmental sustainability under the Climate Smart Agriculture component of the Climate Resilient Integrated Water Management Project in order to practically implement its technologies and practices, the community agrotechnology farms proposed to function as agricultural production units of a higher quality are a practical solution to contemporary challenges such as climate change, resource depletion and socio-economic disparities. Also, this will provide a significant solution to the market challenges in the continuous supply of vegetables and fruits as high quality products and meeting the demand according to the need. This proposed concept of the Community Agrotechnology Farm will be implemented for seven pilot farms across the districts where the Cryomp project is being implemented. This Community Agrotechnology Farm has an area of about 20 to 30 acres. The entire farm is surrounded by a road that runs outside the farm and the farm is divided into equal parts of approximately half an acre. Then placed gradually towards the garden is a three feet wide ditch, elephant fence, a fence of lime plants, a permanent crop fence, bee boxes, medicinal plant section, and a fence of insect repellent floral plants. This is how a cross section of this area surrounding the crop field will look like. There are two main points of entry and exit to the farmland. These are only this front gate and the back gate. When you enter from the front gate, you can walk straight along the main road to the exit at the back. Otherwise, the two sub paths spanning to the sides can be used. This road system is situated in such a way that one can easily enter every section of the farm. Upon entering the farmland, when you focus your attention on the plots on the two sides, the first thing you will see on the left is the main operation building. This has several main parts. There is an administrative unit to manage all the administrative functions of the farm. Furthermore, the unit that releases the produce from the farm, the unit in which the harvest is stored, employees' restrooms, and the toilet system for women and men. Arms and equipment storage, harvest processing center, and biogas unit. In addition, the unit with the machine bay or the tractor and other agricultural equipment established here assumes a special place because it acts as a resource center and provides the use of these high-tech machinery and equipment to the farmers of the farm and the neighboring farmers outside the farm for a nominal fee. A 10 kWa solar power unit installed on the roof of the building for ensuring sustainable and eco-friendly sources of energy provides the required electricity to the farm. At the entrance to the farm on the right side, a semi-automated mushroom production plant and appropriate storage facilities are provided. Adjacent are two semi-automated 3,000 square foot greenhouse units. Adjacent to the main building, the pump house is situated. This pumps the required water to the entire farm. The plant nursery is situated close to it. The nursery produces all the varieties of plants needed by the entire farm and sells the excess to outsiders. In the adjacent area, there is a freshwater fish pond, ducks and a free-range poultry unit. Azola ponds and BSF units have also been installed here to meet the food and nutritional needs of the chickens. This confirms the integrated process in this farm. The rest of the plots will be given to youth and women who are selected as climate smart farmers for this farm. Accordingly, 
one farmer gets nearly half an acre of land. An access road and piped water facilities are provided for each of these areas. Farmers who enter for farm activities can take their necessary equipment from the equipment store in the main building and enter their cultivation area through the access roads. According to the cultivation plan provided by the administrative unit, the relevant planting should be done on the farmland and all the maintenance activities will be carried out by the concerned farmer. Daily after harvesting, the produce is handed over to the harvest reception unit in the main building. There, the produce is released to the market after value addition is done. For traders who come from outside for this purpose, the distribution gate in the main building will be opened. The waste bio parts generated during value addition and cleaning of the harvest received from the farmers is sent to the biogas unit. The energy produced by this biogas unit is directed for the use of the administrative building and for the operation of drying machines required for food post-harvesting. In the adjacent greenhouse, more expensive crops such as bell pepper, capsicum, tomato or lettuce are grown. Drip irrigation systems have been installed for this purpose. Temperature control is also done in these greenhouses. Sprinkler and drip irrigation systems are installed in the sections near the access zone. The installation is done in the crop area according to the water requirement. This will make them be concerned in managing and saving water as much as possible. An organic fertilizer and pesticide production unit is established and operated in the farm not only to provide the inputs required for the crops in the farm but also based on meeting the farm requirements of outsiders. Every activity that takes place in this community agro-technology farm, which is based on weather forecasts and market demand, is done under the supervision of the established farm management. This is not just a farm, but also a centre of knowledge related to agriculture. This provides access to advanced technologies and modern agricultural practices, not only to farm members, but also to outside farmers. These community agro-technology farms will represent a paradigm shift in modern agriculture in the country. Demonstrating community prosperity and innovation nourished by resilience through a holistic model. From familiar farming to smart farming.